Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, yes, sitting in front of the beautiful palm tree, doing a short TA update today, I didn't do videos for two days because I was filming last week and I was too busy, I needed two days of beach time, uh, but today a beautiful TA with amazing charts that will show you exactly what we are doing on the 19th of June with Bitcoin guys, now let's quickly jump into the first chart over, bam, here. This is the first chart. On this first chart, you can see it's a four hour chart, Bitcoin USD, and beautifully showing the Bam Bam indicator. Yes, that Bam Bam indicator is calling for a short over here. It's a short signal, but we still have a lot of green hills and the white line just started to curl down and the blue line is already down below. So we have a few confirmations, except of this green area, which is still very positive. To be very honest, in my opinion, my trade setup at the moment is this one. I would love to see Bitcoin go up all the way to this top of the Bollinger Band. So from here, a short term push, then come down to test this line and then push it up again higher like this because this line that we can see here the line that is coming down probably is going to be retested why look maybe if i just um shut down the bam bam over here you can see it more clear look this is this resistance line we broke it mostly we uh, retest that line so i have already longs position somewhere down here at 25,600 to be very sure that i don't miss that long because i think it will be a huge push and um, if we might go up at above 27,300 so to 27,500 ish yes that also could be a beautiful um, short opportunity so to be very clear maybe that line should be drawn a little bit better in the short term so if this would uh, lead to a push still uh, above 27,500 uh, maybe then we come back and then that push something like this if you want to trade you should be trading on bybit and if you're from the netherlands yes bybit does accept your beautiful dutch customers and yes you can withdraw all your funds from bybit to this beautiful debit card in the netherlands as well because the bybit had a beautiful co-op over there they are not like binance bybit is a sponsor of max Verstappen. bybit is a world champion when it comes to trading and exchanges in my opinion if you want to trade on a centralized exchange so it means bybit you do need to do kyc but if if you always did KYC and Binance, it's exactly the same even, uh, but Binance, Bybit is a little bit better in my honest opinion, and you can still be there as a Dutch customer. If you want to trade completely decentralized, then make sure you click the link down below to Apex Pro. I just had an interview with Apex Pro, checked two days ago the video, beautifully explained why there is a big difference between a decentralized exchange and a centralized exchange, and how you in a centralized exchange need to send your Bitcoins there, and if you if this exchange collapse, you lose your Bitcoins, and a decentralized exchange you keep your bitcoins in your own wallet and you trade them on that platform that feels like a centralized exchange because it has an older book really interesting so check apex pro as well now let's go into the next chart bam okay that's short term but let's zoom out on the gaussian channel the five day chart we can see uh, we are still a green and that is beautiful because every time let's zoom out quickly for the ones that have never seen it if you look at this quickly from a bigger distance you see that this green part of the channel has always been the bullish part that's always been the bear the bull market so bull market bear market bull market bear market bull market now we turned green a couple of weeks ago uh, which is very positive and at the moment we are uh, retesting the top of that Bollinger Band and last week we closed above uh, that the top of the Bollinger Band and this week we are going inside of that now so this five day candle is going to be closed in 17 hours I think something like that and that should be higher than that uh, top in my opinion that should be better because if we get sucked into this Gaussian channel again and um, that's not positive because if you it, it's like then, then it will be going to the mid I think so then then, then there will be like terrible going to this area before we turn up again and that area is around 22,900, 2300 so we should find support on it if not then that midline will be the next level so if we break this then i i would be guessing that bitcoin is going to go uh, to this 23k level which i don't want to see i want to see support over here now 
on the weekly uh, we can see the same and we broke down below the two on a weekly moving average and uh, we are trying to break above it again last week didn't happen this week will take six days and uh, 18 hours if we come above that red line everything okay if we don't come above that red line yes we could start to retest that green line and again that's also at around 23 thousand US dollar would that be an issue no because even if we would go to that level over there at the green line there that would still be a higher low you can see even if we go there bottom higher low higher low so that would mean even if we go up to this level it would still be a higher low and then we should be creating a higher high again all in the possibilities so uh, for me um, I'm just analyzing this chart what are the possibilities is this a possibility then i will put buy orders there and i will take that next long and um, this is all short term guys all short term we use it on the weekly here you can also see there's a clear weekly chart and that we have um, two patterns this could be a uh, inverse head and shoulder where we can see um shoulder a head a shoulder which would normally lead to an outbreak but now we broke out and we are retesting that, sh that the neckline and then maybe bam so that's a valid pattern that we can see other people see this beautiful cup and handle pattern now also a possibility that also should be going over that there beautiful drawing of a child of two years old did he uh, but that's also a weekly child you know and that weekly if you zoom out you start to freak out a little bit less oh sorry for that then you can see for example on the bigger picture guys there's no worrying it's like don't freak out look what happens every time again when we break those downward trend lines and we go into that green square it's always been from that moment bam up from that moment bam up and again it will be from this moment bam up so we are in the bull market and yes we can freak out about short-term pullbacks but in the long term you should be buying every dip that bitcoin even makes and there's also what you see in the monthly then you get even more chill because look how beautiful i will put all the text on it this chart already made months ago hope you still remember that i made the chart i will make this one a little bit smaller it's less interesting at the moment you can see that the macd wants to turn green and when it turns green guys again fireworks look maybe now we have all the text on it just pause the video and analyze all these text things for yourself that i created because then you can calculate all the bars and the distances of this last uh, previous bull markets and bear markets and you can compare it to this one but the moment that we have this green dotted line and the price is going above that yellow line that's the moment that the bull market starts guys now we need to stay above that orange line the 12 monthly moving average and like we did every time again and again bull market territory guys now i have more charts yes even more charts which you can now really make a picture of it quickly make a picture my face is now not in your way okay did you do it beautiful now let's quickly jump into even more cool charts guys over um let's see bam here this is the first one this one is the bitcoin mining sustainability which is a very important chart because everyone is always complaining of bitcoin and the energy use now if we look from the beginning of the year till now in energy and um, sustainability using for mining look we are up with 38 percent 52.6 percent is now mine sustainable now if we look at the banking sector they only went up 2.6 percent if you look at the industrial sector only 1.6 agriculture only 1.3 0 0.9 for gold 0 0.7 for iron so even there bitcoin is crashing all their numbers we are really making sure bitcoin is mine sustainable all these other sectors should be punished for not being completely sustainable not more than bitcoin at the moment 52 percent so they should be paying huge fines in my opinion and these should be incentivized for doing a great job of plus 38 percent only this year in mining sustainability okay now for you that are still freaking out a chart that will help you to zoom out even better i think let's see where my face is on this one i need to make it small again stock money lizards beautiful one two three that's the phases in the, the bitcoin bull market if you compare them now 2013 um, with 2017 so 13 17 20 and 22 23 then we can see exactly uh, what is happening guys so 2011 2013 look how it beautifully moved from that uh, second phase into the third phase 
Look 2014 17 from the second phase into the third phase. 2018 2020 from the second phase into the third phase. And now we have 2022 23 from the second phase into the third phase. Where do you think we will end up? I believe we will end up somewhere over there. So yes, we are in bullish territory. Again, bam, not a, not a chart. It's uh, two more charts, guys, two more charts. I keep on hanging in, but I need to make a lot of charts for you guys because I didn't make a video for two days. This one is even saying it, showing it bigger and more accurate, maybe even, because here you can see exactly where we are now in this uh, performance since the cycle low. So in the cycle low here on the left, from that moment how bitcoin performed in the next two years something like that guys now look at this chart we can see over here how the first cycle worked we can see how the second cycle the third cycle the fourth cycle and this purple one there that's now our cycle so will we end up lower than these previous cycles if you would perform the same or maybe even better yeah we would be in between 400 and 2000 percent this is all depending of course of many things like for example everyone talking now about uh, the etf uh, blackrock uh, combination um, with the etf yes that could lead to a massive impulse of new fresh money coming into the industry and it could lead to a huge cycle or super cycle or a blow of top cycle which would make the bitcoin go times five or six from the uh, cycle low uh, maybe even times 10 from the cycle low if you if you count the cycle over 16k and we go times 10 we would end up around 160k so that's all possible at the moment because there is a lot of money about to flow into this industry if you ask me you should be betting on bitcoin because i know that people uh, play around with altcoins i play around with altcoins i love to support altcoins as well i buy them because i want to support the decentralizing of certain industry and all that stuff and sometimes i buy meme coins because i'm fully invested in crypto and i like to have fun but for me all of them are bam noise all of them are noise and there is only one king and that one king for me still is bitcoin so people must not think because i buy altcoins or meme coins or whatever just to make fun and that i don't think that bitcoin still is king for me all of those other coins all of those two and a half thousand coins this is all noise bitcoin is king bitcoin is a signal if bitcoin goes down all of these go down if bitcoin goes up all of these go up so for me bitcoin is still the most important damn currency out there wow my eyes the sun starts to shine guys so that was everything for today a full beautiful ta video now you know what to do you shouldn't be freaking out you should be zooming out and you should be buying bitcoin every dip and yes if you want to play the short game term game i still believe there will be a massive long because we will go and push again above that 30k will it be from 25 will it be from 23 will it be from any other area we don't know but we will see that push coming and you don't want to miss out on the push and that's why you do the short term game long term dca keep buying bitcoins now that was everything i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment let me know down below what you think 